Hey guys, today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be trying to generate some interesting images using stable diffusion, um, which is an AI algorithm for generating images. Now, some of you might have seen my recent video where I talked about DALI 2, the fascinating AI image generation algorithm that has produced some absolutely astounding results that I likened almost to a computer generated version of the human subconscious, the way that you can just take a phrase and then it can picture it for you. So this is very similar and unlike DALI 2, I actually have access to this one since this one is in an open beta now and you can basically sign up and they'll give you a bunch of free credits. I'm not sure how to see how many credits I have, but I believe you start off with 200. And I think when you create a prompt, I think it creates four images. So I guess you've got 50 attempts at this. So we're going to play around with this a little bit now and basically see what we can generate. Um, so the default prompt he wants to do is a dream of a distant galaxy by Caspar David Friedrich, map painting, training on art station HQ. Okay, I'm going to try and do something different. I'm going to say a wizard standing on the surface of of Mars in front of a giant glowing portal. Now, what do I want to add afterwards? Because that's the description. That's what I want to see. But I also want to add some words afterwards to sort of tailor the painting. So I was thinking maybe, hmm. Okay, I'm going to make it into a painting. I'm going to say oil on canvas. Um, I'm going to say award winning just to see what that does. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to go with that for now. Let's see what these settings are here. Um, Oh, right here, I choose the number of images. So I can just do one credit. I can just spend one of my 200 credits, which is great. I'm, I'm going to do that actually. Okay, let's just, let's create this and see what it does. Okay, doesn't really look like a wizard to me, um, but there's something standing on the surface of Mars there. Um, there's some kind of person. Um, Okay, I think I need to up this because this says how much the image will be like my prompt. So, um, well, let's just get rid of these bits. Let's just let's just say a wizard standing on the surface of Mars in front of a portal. Okay, well, actually, let's readjust the order. A wizard standing in front of a portal on the surface of Mars. And let's just let's just do that and see what it does. It really doesn't want to give us a wizard now, does it? <laughs> and doesn't seem to want to give us a portal either. Um, could this be because I'm not using enough steps? That's the question. So what if I up this and I go a hundred steps and I do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to be wasting some credits here, but this is just a test, wait. Um, well, let's just do a wizard standing in front of the portal. Let's see if we can actually get a wizard in a portal and then do oil on canvas because it's like a painting. A wizard standing in front of a portal, oil on canvas. And this is with twice as many steps, so it should be a bit more like complete, I guess. Okay, that looks more wizard-like and portal-ish like. <laughs> it looks a bit funny, that wizard, but... um. It, it gives me a very interesting, like, abstract feeling, that one. I kind of like that, actually. Um, and it does almost look like you're looking at a painting. Like, you can see the light reflecting on it. I'm actually going to save this one. Um, I don't know if they save in your history, but I'm not really sure how this works. This is my first time using this. Um, but I'm going to save this. Okay, so we've got this. Now, what if... Okay, this sort of gives me, like... I forget how his name's pronounced, René Magritte, René Magritte, um, how's it spelled? I'm going to have to actually look that up a second. Um, I think 
Yeah, M A G R I T T E. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put his name in and see if how this generates. Oil on canvas by Rene Magritte. Um, or I'll just add surrealism in the end and see what happens. Um, and I'll leave it. Are we doing just 50 steps this time? Well, let's see what 50 steps does. If it's terrible compared to this, we'll put it back on 100 and we'll start using two credits per image. Oh, oh, I love this. This gives me like Alejandro Jodorowsky vibes. Like if you've ever seen the Holy Mountain, this this screams like the Holy Mountain to me. Um, this is cool. I like this one. Okay. Okay, so I paused for a minute to think of my next idea and I thought I would use inspiration from a dream I just had. So I'm going to put a white cat wanders through the back, uh, discovers, discovers the back rooms. Do I want to put, do I want to put my cat being inside the back rooms or do I want to put that he finds a portal to them? Because we've just done one with a portal. So I, I think maybe I'll do white cat wanders around the back rooms. And maybe if it's good, I can replace the thumbnail on that video I did about my cat in the back rooms. Uh, white cat wanders around the back rooms. Um, Wait, because the last time we only did 50 steps and it turned out really good, I think. So, white cat wanders around the back rooms. Do we want to do anything about it, style-wise? Um, oh, what's, I guess, handheld footage, maybe? What's that called? Um, found footage, that's what we want, found footage, yeah. Found footage, camcorder, and see what that does. <laughs> that was not that was not what I was expecting. Um, uh, not quite what we were going for, but I mean, it, I think it's thinking of a different kind of back room. So maybe okay, maybe it doesn't know what the back rooms are because this image said that it was trained off. Maybe that was before the whole back rooms really took off. So white cat wanders around empty beige office rooms, maybe. Let's see. I mean, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a little bit closer. <laughs> I mean, this could be a backrooms thing. The cat seems to be sniffing the camera, though. Empty beige offices. White cat in distance. Maybe this will work. I am wasting a few credits on this, but I just want to see if I can get something sort of similar to what I'm imagining. Well, there's no white cat in this one. I mean, he's in the distance, but he's not in the picture. <laughs> um, so, yeah, okay. I think we're going to give up on the back rooms idea now. Um, but wait, let me see if I've got any other recent ones. Let me just go through my recent videos. Oh, actually, that's the perfect idea. I made that video where I said, did we just reinvent the mind's eye about DALI 2 and the, about all of these AI algorithms? And the, the thumbnail for that is honestly really kind of terrible. I'm, I'm not great at thumbnails to begin with, but like even for my standards, I'm kind of a bit disappointed with that thumbnail. So let's make us a new thumbnail. Um, I believe we're free to use these, um, especially since I'm not using it for commercial use anyway, but I'll look into that before I actually use it. Um, well, actually, let's just check the FAQ. Does it say here, images fully open source? Oh, nice. Okay, so that means we can use them even commercially. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, but yeah, so the mind's eye. Let's let's do something interesting. Let's do psychedelic artwork. Colorful. Let's let's see what that does. Is this gonna be crazy? Um well what? <laughs> 
<laughs> we didn't get much there, okay. Okay, person with third eye, psychedelic artwork. Um, let's just put beautiful, see what it does with that. Not super confident based on how that one turned out, but let's see what happens. Oh, that was, that's a lot better. That's a lot more in line with what I was thinking with the third prompt, but um, they've kind of got four eyes there. The top half of the prompt though, actually, you know what? We could use the top half of the prompt. You know what? That's, that's in fact, possibly what I'm going to do. I think I might save that and then, um, yeah, I will do that. And that's the point. We need we need a thumbnail for this video as well. So maybe that's what we should do next. Um, so what is this video even going to be called? Um, generating images with AI art. So maybe a printer printing out some kind of abstract paintings. Let's see how that goes. Um, printer printing out abstract art, photorealistic. I'm just going to put f1.8, see what that does. Printer, printing out. Well, then again, photorealistic isn't going to be a photo, is it? I need, <laughs> that's not a good. Oh, that is kind of cool though. That is kind of what I was going for, except the abstract art. Uh, printer, printing out. Okay, let's go back to the last one. Psychedelic art. Uh, Colourful psychedelic. Um, I'll write it the American way because maybe it's trained on American language, so it might be better. I mean, the art is cool, but I don't see the printer. Should we do? Should we do a hundred steps again? We're probably eating through our credits at this point, but we can always buy some more if we need to. Okay, let's let's see what happens. Um, maybe just. Okay, what if I just get rid of this? Um, photo, oh wait. Um, okay, I'll put Flickr to see if that... Come on, give us something good. Give us something good here. Um, it's cool art, but I don't see any printer. Is it this thing? Is it this config scale? Maybe it's not high enough. Okay, one more try, but we're going to do just 50 here so we don't eat up too many credits. I'm going to try the same prompt and just see if that actually makes it more like what I wrote. Oh, that is, yes, that that is more what I'm going for. Okay, this is really cool. Okay, um, I'm going to save this one. I think this is kind of the thing that I'm looking for. Okay, so I just realized I've been having so much fun with this that I've kind of dragged this video on a bit longer than I intended it to be. So I'm going to do one last image generation. And then after that, what we can do is pause it here and then I'll do another one of these videos where I do some more of these. Okay, since we got that earlier one that gave me Holy Mountain vibes, um, a man seated between a large white and black pillar, sort of resembling a scene from the Holy Mountain where um, one of the characters is sat between some pillars that I believe are meant to represent the pillars of Yakin and Boaz. Um, okay, a man seated between a large white and black pillar. Inside an ornate... In, no, inside... Yeah, I'll put an ornate temple. See what See what that comes up with. Um, not quite. Uh, let's just get rid of the temple bit. Let's just say, you know, like, and see what that does. Um, <laughs> not, not quite what I was imagining, but interesting. Um, I feel like this one, if it did a surrealist version of this, it could be kind of funny. So let's, let's, let's do another Rene Magritte surrealism. By Rene Magritte, surrealism. See what it does with this. Um, 
interesting. <laughs> not not what I was expecting. Um, this this gives me more slightly more Salvador Dali vibes than than Emma Greet. So I'm actually going to try that next. Um, by Salvador Dali Abstract. Cool picture though. Not as interesting as the one from earlier, I don't think. But oh wow, what is this? <laughs> That's not at all what I described, but actually looks kind of cool. Looks very abstract and strange. So I'm going to save this abstract pyramid in the style of. I'll do that again. And this will be the last one for real. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of cool. Gives me some sort of like brutalist vibes. Very interesting architecture here. Um, yeah, so I think we'll we'll end the video here, but this is fun and I'll come back to it. And I think I'll play around a bit myself as well before I record the next video. That way I get a bit more hang of how to do these algorithms. Because I've played around with, um, what's it called? Um, Night Cafe Studio, which is one that uses clip plus diffusion or something like that. Um, it uses a different algorithm which is way more simple and way more just kind of abstract and trippy looking. And when I first played around with that, everything that I, that I got it to generate looked awful. But after I sat around with it for a bit more and got familiar with how to word the algorithms, I started getting stuff that looked quite nice. So I think the same thing will happen here where a lot of these ones I've generated in this video didn't come out looking that great. But as I get more familiar with how to word the algorithm how to word the prompts for this particular algorithm, I think the results will be a lot better. Okay, future Matt here in editing. I was completely right. Um, once again, by the way, sorry for all the sounds in this video, the clickety clackety of my keyboard. We will avoid that next time. We'll find a way around that, but my noise cancelling wasn't working, so this was a bit of a disaster. Anyway, the images that I generated in the couple of hours since that video have been a lot better and I've been getting much more of a hang on some of the things that can make for a good looking image. So I'm going to put a few of those on screen now and you can enjoy those just before the video ends. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe and consider also checking out the Patreon where there is now a Discord server available and everyone, even in the $1 tier, gets access to the Discord server. So if you want to chat with me, you can do that. Now, if you want to keep watching, check out one of the videos on screen. Go watch that and I'll see you there soon. Take care.